Don Pollo or Augustin Calderon Silverio, I apologise for the awful pronunciation, is one of the more recent creators on any form of social media to get a taste of fame and becoming a meme that I've covered on the channel so far. Some of you may never have heard of him in your life, while others may know his viral videos word for word. In this video, we will cover his background before going viral, when he first started getting exposure, any opportunities that have come since his internet fame, and his current day life. Agustin is a Spanish-speaking influencer living in South Carolina, with Santiago in the Dominican Republic being his hometown. He mainly posts his content on TikTok to an audience of 2.2 million followers, with his most popular videos involving him eating a mixture of fast food and homemade food, reviewing the food in Spanish and being drowned out by the deafening sound of Android notifications from his phone. Ah, mi gente, pa perder el tiempo. Burrito con salsa y picante. Then, the audio from these videos are turned into the most random slideshow meme compilations on TikTok by countless creators, and that's pretty much how Don Pollo gets as much exposure as he does without fail. He also posts the occasional TikTok video of his own on his Facebook page, as well as personal videos surrounding his family life, marriage, birthdays, and mental health, which is open for anyone to view. Basically, Don Pollo is your normal, down-to-earth family man who happened to go viral without forcing it to happen. Way back when the potential of becoming a social media sensation even crossed his mind, Don Pollo attended Liceo Onesimo Jimenez Extended Day and went to UASD for college. However, I couldn't find any information surrounding any certificates or areas of study. Jumping ahead a number of years, after finishing college, but before the exposure flooded Augustine's page, he was minding his own business, working at Sanderson Farms Chicken in North Carolina as a packer and has worked here since late 2014. However, there was some speculation that he was also working at a high school in Ohio in 2022, either as a general janitor or a security guard, but this is most probably just an uncanny similarity since nowhere confirms this is true on any of his profiles. As you'd expect, no one batted an eyelid until he created the universally loved TikTok account named DonPoyo2982 and started gaining thousands of followers each day, so someone could have pretended it was Don Pollo for a bit of clout. As well as this, the video which claimed to be Augustine working at a high school gave him the nickname of the King of Ohio, which is another branch of memes related to his name. Don Pollo got his first major taste of internet fame in August 2021, where he would post a video of him eating an entire rotisserie chicken in his car and saying his most popular phrase. This video gained well over 750,000 likes and 12 million views on TikTok, and has people in 2023 leaving comments like, this is his origin story, and where it all started. Although this is his second biggest video on his account, Don Pollo didn't get much exposure after this until 2022 and onwards. This would also be around the same time that slideshow memes became the trending topic on TikTok, and the majority of the time that a slideshow meme was birthed, it had one of his audios attached to it, so his sounds being paired alongside random slideshows shot him into the viral space even further and more consistently. Before he knew it, hundreds of remixes slash edits of his audios were being made, each with sound credits to his account. Some of these audios had upwards of four-figure uses, millions of views, and people calling him the slideshow audio god. At this point, there was another meme related to the Ohio trend, and it was from the creator Satoyu0704, who had the internet title of Ohio Final Boss. Satoyu was most well known for his videos where he'd dress up in a suit, walk on the spot, and recite phrases and mannerisms left in the comments of his live videos on TikTok. The two creators related to the Ohio memes would be paired against each other in power scaling edits regarding their strength, IQ, battle IQ, speed, and other attributes, which obviously offered even more exposure to both Don Pollo and Satoyu, and extended the longevity of their relevance. I've done some searching around to try and find any hint of any business opportunities or brands reaching out to him for collaborations with their food or drinks, but there's absolutely nothing, which is actually pretty surprising to me. 
Bearing in mind he has 2.2 million followers on TikTok alone, I thought he would have at least experimented with one concession brand, seeing as it's within his niche. This isn't to say that he hasn't turned down any opportunities, but with an account as large as his, there's usually the occasional verified brand in the comment section, but that isn't even the case for Don Pollo. Maybe he's just not interested in interacting with brands, or isn't too sure how to. I mean, he doesn't have an Instagram account either. TikTok and Facebook are his only sources of social media, so it's a definite possibility. Listening back to this audio while editing, I've since found that he has actually set up a Shopify page through his TikTok bio, where you can purchase customised merch related to the man himself. As for anything Cameo, Patreon, or membership related, Don Pollo has steered clear of these areas. Since 2022, Augustine has continued creating content on a daily basis. He has since incorporated his wife into more videos, as well as filming wholesome fatherly videos experimenting with filters. Also, still doing the videos where he's eating in his car and responding to questions or requests left by people who view his videos. His most popular videos remain to be the ones where he's in his car with food, with the Android notification interrupting him as he speaks. <laughs> Because these audios are still being used in memes on the platform. Even though he has managed to gain over 2 million followers on TikTok, he hasn't changed his attitude or how he treats people at all. Don Pollo still acts like a down-to-earth guy who is using his platform to bring positivity and humour to others, which is unfortunately what a lot of people who get a taste of fame don't know how to do. He hasn't experimented with any, quote, sell-out promotional material either. The only monetary service on social media that he's currently using is TikTok gifts when he's on a live stream. But again, due to him being humble and respectful, he never begs anyone to support him, which reels in even more supporters. From what it looks like, Don Pollo's life hasn't changed too much from what it was like before his viral status. He's still working at the same chicken shop that he's been at for nine years now. Providing for his family remains his main priority. He hasn't become materialistic with any of the wealth he's accumulated from social media and he's just living a normal life like anyone else. He's a humble guy who's playing into his memes, getting even more attention and having fun on social media, posting what he wants, when he wants, no matter the quality of the videos, and hopefully it stays this way for the foreseeable future.